Good morning. It was not natural. It was supernatural. One of God's angels appeared to Mary and informed her of the gift that God would place within her. She said, How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. And the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One, to be born, will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. So it was a miraculous conception, God the Son placed in Mary by God the Holy Spirit. How could that be? Well, what did the angel say? Nothing is impossible with God. Now, I suspect that you know that verse. Somewhere in your life, you've heard it, you've picked it up. Uh, I've even said that. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. So, without God, impossible. But with God, possible. All things are possible because nothing is impossible with God. Would you say that out loud with me? Nothing is impossible with God. Say it again like you believe it. Nothing is impossible with God. Here's one like it from Jeremiah 32, 27. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me? What's the correct answer? Nothing is impossible with God. Good. So how about thinking like that? Could you by faith think that way? Really believe that the God who saved you and loves you is all powerful. There's nothing too difficult for him. So say that with me again. Nothing is impossible with God. Do you want evidence of that truth? Well, consider what God has done in you. It's miraculous. God's spirit has been placed within you. Paul wrote, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? God the Spirit placed Jesus within Mary, and God the Spirit placed himself within us, making us his temporary temples as we journey through this life. Such a presence in us gives us his strength. It's the power of the Spirit working in us, and the Spirit works to produce the character of Christ, a love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The Holy Spirit gives us gifts, these tools for ministry, so that we can fulfill the Great Commission by His power. I mean, don't you just marvel at the Christmas story? Uh, see it for what it is, and take from it truths that will strengthen your faith in Christ. So let's say our scripture statement out loud twice. Nothing is impossible with God, like you believe it. Nothing is impossible with God. I believe that. Do you today, would you by faith believe that, embrace that, and trust God for everything that would concern your life and those who concern you. Trust God, for nothing is impossible with Him. Let's pray. Oh Lord, thank you for saving us and giving us your Spirit to live within us. Today, fill us, we pray, and remind us that with you, nothing is impossible. Now continue your prayers. God bless you.